Hello everyone, this is the first uh, tutorial of uh, Aspen Hysis and uh, um, I'm making this uh, series of tutorials for my own purpose. I'm learning this uh, software and therefore I'm um, sharing it with you. Uh, this first tutorial is uh, very simple. Um, we have an input of 10 kg per hour of uh, hydrocarbon which I'm going to show you the composition later and then I'm going to separate it uh, to separate it to 40% and 60% of mass flow in a separator or in a branch. Uh, let's just do it. Uh, I have uh, Aspen Hysis open, uh, therefore I need to make a new template. So you can see here that you have to choose the component list and the fluid package. Let's start with the component lists. Uh, if you double click on that and then uh, add uh let's have some c1 methane and then some c2 perhaps some c3 and then maybe c6 and c7 i think i'm happy with this composition with these components and then i have to go to fluid package fluid package is basically your uh, equation of states what equation of states you would like to use and since I, since I have used um, uh, hydrocarbon components, therefore I would like to go for, for example, Peng Robinson, that you can see it here. So if you click on Peng Robinson, you can see all the other options. Uh, I mean, the density model, uh, the critical temperature and pressure, the viscosity method. Uh, I mean, these things you can read it in in the, in. The, um, help for example these are the details things that I'm not going to discuss about it you can see that uh, both fluid package and the component list is turned blue which means they are ready to be simulated so if I go to simulation um, I would like to start with an input the material stream and if I double click on the material stream you can see, for example, the name. I can change the name to inlet. And then I can change the mass flow to 10 kg per hour. You can definitely change the unit, but uh, I think I'm happy with 10 kg per hour. And then the pressure is 10 bar G and the temperature is, for example, 25 degrees. And then I have to choose uh, the composition. I have uh, selected the components, but the composition is not chosen. So let's say that I would like to have the mole fraction of 10% of methane. Uh, yeah, I can select here 20% of ethane, and then 30% of propane, and then let's say 20% of C6 and 20% of c7 and the total is one which is good and then if i click ok you can see that uh, the status of uh, this material stream is turned to green which means ok so if i go back to condition again so you can see that the other properties are now populated automatically so the only things that i needed to select was the pressure the temperature and of course the mass flow in the inlet the rest uh, i mean the heat flow the liquid flow at the standard condition and the other stuffs are populated automatically by the software i can now close this so this inlet is now selected now i need a branch a separator something that i can separate or branch out my inlet to two uh, outlet so this is the unit that you have to select this is called t in aspen Hysis. and uh, you click on that and then you select it and uh, insert it in your worksheet so if you double click on that uh, you can see that you have both inlet and outlet uh, of course my inlet is called inlet which i have already specified and then i would like to have two outlets uh, which you can call them for example 60% and uh, the other one you can call it 40% it's not typed I have to do it again 
right okay it doesn't matter if the and then if you double click on 60 percent for example and then you have to specify the mass flow the 60 percent of 10 is basically six kilogram per hour and again the rest of properties is populated automatically interestingly for the second outlet you don't need to specify the mass flow either because uh, uh, you only have two outlet you have two output you have branched out the inlet to two parts and since you have specified the first one then the second one is automatically calculated and written here which is four um, I think that was it more or less and then you can see that the status of uh, this branch or T is also turned to green uh, you, you can of course play around with it and then if you right click for example on one of the outlets you can select the show table you can see that the temperature and the pressure and also the molar flow is uh, shown here you can of course change that you can double click on uh, the table uh, you can add other variables or remove some variables that you don't like I for example would like to have the mass flow shown in this table then if I click on that and then select it to the right and then click on done you can see that the mass flow of six kilogram per hour is shown for this outlet the same you can do for inlet uh, it's very simple you see the temperature is 25 pressure is 10 bar G and again it's showing the molar flow you can add the mass flow as well no big deal you can also make some reports for this simulation let's create something called report one and then uh, you can have full reports for example or only heat profiles or stream reports uh, I mean let's just have some full reports and if you click on that and then you call it something like uh, yeah no name or you can call it I don't know hot F and you save it on desktop and then you can see uh, it's the flu package basic one the stream you have the inlet and uh, the composition of uh, the components 10% methane 20% ethane and the rest and uh, also output summaries um, you have the molecular weight of the the, comp the components the boiling the boiling points the critical temperatures and uh, the other information that you can see here i think um, that's it uh, more or less this was the first tutorial very basic i hope you have enjoyed it until next time